Hello everybody, it's Kadzo with Kadzoi for Africa and thank you for watching. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and join the family. And if you like what you hear, please go ahead and schedule a consultation with me and I'm happy to go through this information with you one-on-one -on -one to guarantee career success. So let's get right to it. So obviously we all thought that COVID-19 was going to be, hopefully, a temporary situation. But many of you have been emailing me for your coaching needs because you would like to know how do you navigate through COVID-19? What is the getaway message? How do we navigate the career journey during these unusual times? So rest assured, after this video today, you will realize the top three things that have been impacted because of COVID-19 and how you can be able to navigate through those options. The first impact of COVID-19 is uncertainty among employers. So a lot of people feel like, you know, well, employers are not interested in hiring. They don't want me to be a part of the process. So there's a lot of frustration out there and I can certainly hear you, but please calm down. All you're feeling is uncertainty. Employers don't quite know how to deal with you, especially if you're an F1 international student, because of all the mummers and the news and everything that's been going on. So the reality is, it's just that, uncertainty. So the way that you can curb that situation, if you're an F1 international student, is to make sure that you're equipping yourself in the best way possible in the job search. The number one way you can do that is to be able to connect with a good immigration attorney who can be able to explain your case, especially if an employer is interested in working with you through the hiring process, but is just not unsure because of everything that's happening with COVID. Like I mentioned before, I do have an attorney that I work with. So if you're serious and you're interested, send me an email and I'm happy to talk with you, find out where you are in the process and then connect you with an attorney who can be able to help you. But any immigration attorney that is in your home area would be an asset to talk to because they can be an ally as you communicate what's going on during uncertain times. The second quick tip I would suggest when it comes to dealing with uncertainty amongst employers is go ahead and pick employers who have actually hired F1s before. And as you guys have been, uh, you know, watching my videos, you know that the number one resource I like to use is myvisajobs.com. If you go on that site, you can quickly see how many employers have hired international students in the previous years. And remember, if they have worked with F1 international students in the past, then they're most willing to work with you. I do think that it can be a little bit challenging to work with an employer who has not hired internationals before during uncertain times, but rest assured, there are many other employers who have worked with international students as well. So make sure that you target those. The second biggest impact of COVID-19 that we are facing during a certain time is the ability to travel. The reason I say this is because for most F1 international students, many of you are actually coming in from different countries. And so you might be planning a trip far ahead in advance, wanting to go visit your family. I know I was thinking about doing that as well. But you do need to be careful about that because if you are in the process of navigating visa options from F1 to OPT, from OPT to H1B, H1B to green card, then I would say now is the time for you to stay put and limit your travel so that your processing of the paperwork can go as seamlessly as possible. The third impact of COVID-19 that is important for you to know that is probably going to be with us through changing times is your ability to work virtually. Now, if you are of the younger generation, you are either Gen Z, you are millennial, then I think you're going to flourish during this time. I think Gen Xs like myself and baby boomers, it's been a little bit of an adjustment, but not too much. There are resources to be able to help you in the workplace, be able to adjust to the virtual reality. And so don't panic. All that means is that as you go through your interview process, you're probably going to be interviewed virtually. If you are assigned your work duties, you're probably going to do those duties virtually. And so your biggest ticket and the biggest advantage you have is your ability to share your virtual expertise. And so my recommendation is to make sure that you add that on your resume and make sure that you let them know what virtual skill sets you bring to the table. Are you proficient in um, you know, apps such as like YouTube, 
um, social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram? Are you able to um, have good communication skills over the phone? What is your virtual expertise? Don't take it for granted. A lot of what you've been using socially, you will now be able to use in the work environment. And so folks, I would share with you, those are the top three impacts of COVID-19 on your career search journey. So you see, it's not that bad. And um, like I mentioned before, I'm happy to kind of process this with you, especially if you are unsure, you're feeling defeated, or you're feeling overwhelmed, go ahead and send me an email and my assistant will schedule you for a one-on-one -on -one session and I can be able to address your unique situation. But overall, I hope that you, this, uh, this video was able to just kind of help you see the top impacts of COVID-19 as we adjust and settle into unusual times. And remember folks, like I always say before, life is full of opportunities and education is the key to your success. Until my next video, bye.